Beautiful. You won all of your world records drug free. Yeah, a hundred percent drug free. Uh, I uh, was drug free for thirty seven, thirty eight years, but I did try. I did try roids uh, in nineteen eighty or eighty one, I believe it was. When before it became illegal, I tried them. What'd you try? I tried. I went to a doctor, and I don't know if I should say this fucker's name because he might still be busy, still alive. But the same doctor that Arnold and uh, uh, all the guys who were in the magazines, you know, cause I thought everybody was drug free. I didn't think, you know, right. I, I didn't think. Because nobody talks. It's a weird thing about those magazines, right? Yeah, yeah. They everybody don't would talk about the creatine they're taking. Yeah, Brings yeah. chain amino acids. Yeah. Oh, fucking man. I couldn't wait to go out and get some of them amino acids and shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, so they got me for sure because sure. I thought that's what it was taking. But uh, uh, I won a couple of little contests, and a guy, uh, the guy who was promoting the contest, he came to me and said, "Hey, what are you taking, CT?" And I had twenty inch arms, you know. Then I didn't. I thought everybody, I thought every fucking body I seen in those magazines, on or anybody else, was drug free. He goes, uh, "What are you taking?" And I told him the amino acids and shit, and and he goes, "Oh man, what?" What kind of steroids are you taking? I said, what's that? And he said, you don't know what a steroid is. You didn't even know what a steroid was? I didn't even know what the fuck it was, man. Wow. I'm I'm from Compton. (laughs) (laughs) So he told me, no, you got to go to this doctor. And and, uh, he gave me the address and everything. And and I I said, I don't know if I should say the doctor's name, but I still remember. And uh, I went to the doctor. The guy looked at my nose and ears and shit and listened to my lungs and gave me a prescription for... uh, uh, Decca. Yeah, he gave me a prescription for some Decca derivable. And I took it right to Kaiser Pharmacy. And the uh, pharmacist uh, I said, you know what this is? And I said, yeah, it's f- fucking steroids, I think. And he said, yeah, it's bad. You don't need this shit. Like, well, look, I want to give you a try. I want to be a professional bodybuilder. And they told me if I want to be a professional and be like Arnold and Franklin and the rest of the guy, I got to take this shit. So I want to take it. And he gave, he gave it to me re, uh, grudgingly. He get, f- filled the prescriptions for me. I took it on. And I took my DECA. And then uh, I went back to the doctor. Mm-hmm, and he gave me another prescription for uh, testosterone. So I took DECA and testosterone. And did you notice a difference? Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah, fuck yes, I noticed a difference. But I you got off of it. Yeah, I got off of it. But I had uh, I had reason. I had reasons. And you, you want me to tell you what those were? <laughs> sure. Okay. It, it worked. It definitely worked. Uh, I got fucking hard as, you know, just tight as fuck. Right. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, it also, uh, I don't know if it does it, it does this to everyone. People, when I, told, I tell them about this sometimes, they say, ah, nah, it's you, you must have been an asshole beforehand. And that's quite, <laughs> quite possibly true. Because I, I was a pretty much an asshole because of the way I was raised, you know. Right. I had a bad attitude going in. So when I got on the scene, it, amp- it seemed to amplify my bad attitude. Hmm. And uh, every, I had a, a short fuse, like, short, was, was this a fighter, UFC fighter named Short Fuse? Ed Herman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I should have had that nickname way before Ed <laughs> Herman, man, because I had a fucking short fuse big time. And everything, everything pissed me off. So I had a really bad attitude. I was married at the time. You know, I had a real bad attitude with my wife, and she couldn't do shit wrong, Joe. I mean, nothing, man. And, but, okay, that, that was part of the reason. And another big, big fucking thing with me is what I love more than muscles and lifting weights and fast cars, and I love all that shit, is it, sex. And a big, giant... Big old giant thing. <laughs> when I rolled over to have sex and nothing was happening, I said, fuck these steroids. <laughs> <laughs> fuck these steroids. So this is when you got off of them? Yeah, yeah. nobody told me. And yeah, then, the, and the then crash. It was like, yeah, it was like, oh, you got to take this this other shit to make this shit. Clomid and yeah, all I'm that like, stuff. Man, yeah, fuck that. Anything. So anything. That kills your boners. Psh- <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. it. Oh, no, no. I don't, I anything you. that's going to do that. I mean, I'd rather be a, a 110 pounds soaking wet and still be able to, you know, get my boner. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck that. You know, so I was terrible. Well, did it, it must have affected your lifting, too, because what comes is the, just a giant dip in your natural testosterone once you get off of it, oh, right? Oh. Oh. 
bad, huh? It was the because I, you know, I decided, hey, I'm, I'm fuck this shit, fuck this. How long shit. were you on it for? Uh, a total of six months. But what they do is they told us back then you do two months on and two months off. So it took longer. So I do two months on, I take two months off, two months on, two months. Off. Right, like that, right. That was the protocol. Yeah, that's that's what they told us. How, that's what Doctor Man, Man, whatever his name is, uh, told us how to do. It. So it was total six months, but it took you know longer than that because I had two months off in between, two months on, and um, uh, that stuff. It it definitely definitely. Uh, but when you what they don't tell you is. When you stop taking this shit, when you just stop taking it cold turkey like that, every fucking thing that you gained during that time, and I gained, you know, I was ready for, I had one like little small bodybuilding contest. I thought I was ready for fucking Mr. America after this shit. You know, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm, I just got so much tighter and I, and I had uh, more veins and shit than ever. And I'm like, oh, man, this is great shit. But when you get off that shit, everything that you gain, you lose it. And then some. I lost uh, any strength gains that I might have might have gained got from it or any, you know, the hardness stuff. I, mean, I, I had to start from lower than where I was before I started taking it. Right, because your testosterone's yeah. all gone. They say you do gain something and you keep something once your body normalizes. You know, you do have some sort of gains. That's one of the arguments that they say about people that have taken steroids and gotten off of them, that if you can normalize your testosterone, you're still going to have an advantage over people that have never taken it before. But it's I don't, subjective. You know, I don't know how true that is. I, I felt like that uh, uh, every single thing gained that I possibly had, I think, I, I mean, I felt like I lost ground, actually, because uh, I just stopped. You know, mm -hmm. cold turkey, and I think I actually lost ground. It's still Are you can't. supposed to wean yourself off? Is that how you're I supposed to? I think so, but you know, mm -hmm. I, but I'm telling you, when I roll over, you know, I'm fucking 21 years old, and I thought that sex every day was the normal. Right. I mean, you, you, you just that's what you get married for. So you can right. have sex every day, <laughs> man. That's one of the benefits. And if I don't, if I can't have sex every day. Then you know, hey, something's wrong. Like yeah. fuck this, you know. So I just that was my normal, normal thing, and I, I'm probably pretty sure that my wife at the time probably didn't think that. But you know, I was like, <laughs> she probably got tired. Well, this motherfucker, you ever? <laughs> but you know, that was uh, <laughs> she got a break when when the steroid thing. She got a little break for the first time ever. You know, we was married. Like you know, like oh no, 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 no. Anything that's gonna fuck with that, fuck this. That's shit. what gets people back on it. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of yeah, people I'm, get psychologically addicted. Of course. I mean, uh, who, I mean, you, 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 Jack, and I talked about it, you know, and I was, I was interviewed in magazine articles and stuff a, a, a few times when I was world champion back in the day. And I, I brought it up in the articles. I never thought it was anything to hide, you know, or anything like that. I said, yeah, you know, I, I wish that uh, I had never done it. I wish I could say now that I look back. I wish I, I could say I had. I have a perfectly clean record. Like my my training partner Richard Schumer for twenty. We've trained together for twenty years, and this guy, perfect record. Never even tried it. Well, he was stronger than me. His 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 mind was stronger than mine. I peer pressure and wanting to be in the magazines and wanting to make a living doing something that I love instead of punching the clock every fucking day. That that appeal was too great for me as a young guy for me to pass it up. I, I wanted to do something that I loved and make money at it way back then, but I wound up working at the post office for 28 years. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it, it definitely makes sense that the appeal would be so strong. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a very... It works. I mean, that's the big reason why people want to take it out of sports. And I don't know if you ever watched that documentary that's on Netflix called Icarus. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen Icarus. Icarus is all about the Russian uh, anti-doping state-sponsored program. The Russian, well, I should say pro-doping. Oh, yeah. They, you go, they yeah. literally <laughs> gave steroids to every single one of their athletes. That makes more sense, and yeah. And it's a crazy documentary, man, because the guy, Brian Fogel, who's the director, is also, he's in it because he was an amateur cyclist, and what he wanted to do is an experiment. So he ran uh, or he uh, cycled this race one year totally clean and then the next year he went to this Russian doctor and said just fucking 
juice me up to the gills. Like, let's do this. And they just shot him up with everything. And in the process of him getting to know this doctor, the scandal broke out about the Sochi Olympics, about the Russians cheated during the Sochi Olympics, and it's all documented in this film as the news is breaking. And then the guy who's the Russian doctor has to flee Russia. He leaves his family behind. They take his family's house, and they they take all their money, and they're basically making his family homeless to try to get him to come back to Russia. He's in protective custody in America right now, and he detailed the entire program. Everyone was hot. Everyone. What? Everyone was on something. They won 13 go What's hilarious, they just took some of the medals away, and and the medals they took were the most bullshit medals, like like, uh, <laughs> None like of the fucking important rhythmic ones, gymnastics. Who yeah. can have this one? Like yeah, wow. like took, they took like four bullshit medals away, oh, but they wow. kept the big the real, ones. Yeah, yeah they the real. kept wrestling. They kept all the big ones. Wow, you know? that's yeah. bullshit. It's bullshit it, indeed. I, yeah. I, I I did see big strong fast. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, that's Chris an interesting Bell. take, yeah, yeah, right? Because they're pro-steroids. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that is interesting. Yeah. They are pro-steroids. And a lot of people are. Yeah. A lot of people are. Well, the, the argument is, I mean, I see, I see it for, in the terms of fair competition. I see the argument against it for fair competition. It makes sense. But, like, I also see the argument in terms of, like, if you're going to be taking amino acids and creatine and all these different things that do give you some sort of a benefit, why not take the shit that gives you the real benefit? Well, I, you know, uh, Joe, I, uh, I, I don't find uh, fault with people who decide to, to take roids because, like I said, I'm a 21-year-old kid, and uh, I took them. So how the fuck can I right. talk shit about anybody who's, who decides to make the same decision and right. that I did that many years ago? You know, I, 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 I'd be a, a, a hypocrite Hip asshole right. if I was, you know, to do that. As long as everybody in the competition that you're in, whatever that competition might be, if you mm -hmm. fucking flipping pies or whatever, whatever the fuck it is, uh, cutting grass, whatever the fuck it is, if everybody else in there is doing it, then then it's a, a level playing field. But, but when you got guys that are trying to compete naturally right. against guys that are not, then it becomes unfair. So uh, if they uh, if they have a division and they do it a lot in these weightlifting contests and things now, they have divisions that are called natural divisions and they actually test for steroids and stuff like that. And maybe they should. Do something like that for the fighters. Hey, we ain't mm -hmm. gonna test you guys if you want fuckers. You just come on in here and whatever. You bring, bring, <laughs> bring, bring what, what you, you got. Want. Yeah, well, they're kind of doing that in Japan. Really? Yeah, Japan has an organization called Ryzen, where it's uh, essentially an offshoot of Pride, or at least some of the people are involved that were involved in Pride. And in Pride, like I had Ensign Inouye on the podcast, and he was talking about his Pride contract. He said it specifically stated, "We will not test you for steroids," oh, wow. like in all caps and shit. Damn! <laughs> no wonder he was they like, had some fucking animals. Oh, in Pride. God. 